is finally about well. My leg is still a little weak. Not feeling good. But it's really windy today. The water has been too. We're ready to move because the sickness is contributing right here. There is, we just pulled out of this gas station, and there is a full blown Mexican restaurant in this thing. Like, they got the meat like stacked up on a store, roasting, like where they just cut it off. God, it smells awesome. Woo. Maybe before we leave Texas, we can go to a real Mexican restaurant. Finding a site Why? Um, because a lot of them don't have sewer. Like, there's three right here that are really nice, but they don't have sewer. got here yesterday and found this spot um we thought it was going to be pretty good and it is <laughs> it's kind of tucked away in some trees and we love that it had sun and shade but there is one little problem with it um that we didn't account for over here we have all these trees up here and the electrical box. I mean, we could have moved over a little more the, to the other side, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I thought we were gonna be in the clear. But it was super tight getting in this spot because it's kind of in an intersection. So getting in here was kind of aggravated, aggravating, and we were ready to lay down and rest, so we were tired. So anyway, but it's all right. It's almost all the way out, so it likes like four inches, maybe. It was enough to uh, cause Michael to have an accident last night <laughs> inside. Yeah. Okay, so last night I got up to get some water, came in here, got some water, and this uh, bench was like right here that I built. Uh, so got some water, come through, and wham, right into this thing. Me, actually, I run head on like this because I hit this toe. I was hurting, but I was okay. So I went and got in the bed, and uh, the pain went away pretty quick. Well, then, right after that, London's basket that she keeps on the edge of her bed fell out. And we I didn't know if it was a kid or what. So got up, got my robe on, come running in here, and it was just a basket. Hope said, I'm okay. You know, it was London's darn basket. So <laughs> I put the basket up, come back through here, and wham, the half of my left foot hit this thing again for the second time <clears throat> so my toe looks like you painted it with purple which you call it stuff? nail polish it uh it still hurts right now so 
I should have learned the first time and moved the stinking thing out of the way. But the reason being is the slide can't go all the way out. I've got it pushed all the way up against the tree on the other side. So everything's kind of shifted this way and I guess I just wasn't used to it. So it was a painful consequence. So um, we rested yesterday and we're all feeling pretty good. I mean, we're not 100% better. London's coughing and... But you, you've got to think too, we've been in the camper for like a week solid. So everybody is like dying to get out and go somewhere. So, so we're gonna venture out and we'll see, maybe get me a birthday present. I don't know. <laughs> me and Holden, Holden's been waiting since February the 4th. Pot, I did, yeah, I did get the coffee pot. But I've always said if we come to Texas, I want a pair of boots made in Texas. And Holden does too, not necessarily made. He just wants a specific type of boot. So we might do a little, try to find something. Yeah, that's not all. We're going to Waco. Um, we're like 15 <laughs> minutes from Waco. And- you see what I'm excited about. <laughs> and you see what I'm excited about. <laughs> waited like five years to go to Waco. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, we might do a Magnolia thing. Of course, that's what Waco's all about, right? But there is a Mammoth um, National Monument. What's it called? Waco Mammoth National Museum. Monument? Museum. Some, some type of, of museum. Yeah. So that's educational. Um, they have a junior ranger program. We're going to go do that and do the boot thing. And we might swing by a Magnolia place. Yeah, we're just going to sit down and eat lunch with Chip and Joanne. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's All right, let's go. go. decided to um, come to Magnolia table because I'm starving and pretty sure the kids are probably hungry too. They always are. Are y'all hungry? Yes. yes. Um, Michael went in to see how long the wait is. There's people standing outside everywhere. Um, <laughs> I mean not a ton of people but it is 12.02. It's Tuesday though. I mean I didn't expect it to be too crowded so Hopefully the wait won't be too long. That's you. All right, so it's a 43 minute wait. They have a waiting area with toys for the kids and, or games and stuff. <clears throat> and they also have a takeaway market so we can walk through there. And I gotta find a bathroom, so. <laughs> I guess we'll wait 43 minutes. Y'all wanna wait 43 yeah. minutes?
delicious. Um, pretty expensive too. <laughs> I think um, they do a lot of extra special stuff. And maybe that's why it's kind of expensive. I don't know. They gave all the kids a box of cookies. Show me your box of cookies. And then these, we all got caramels at the end of our meal. So it was sweet. It was good. We have done some stuff today, but we didn't get everything done that we wanted to get done. So we wanted to go to the Mammoth Museum, uh, but that didn't happen because I guess me and Holden are so picky. But, huh? So, anyway, so we went boot shopping. Found out that custom made boots by people at their homes is kind of a thing of the past, which is kind of sad, right? You know, so they've got all these big places, big department, I guess boot places that have basically run everybody else out of business so uh, we went to several boot places finally found a pair at Cavenders in Waco um, we're pulling up to the silo silos at what is this Magnolia something here I'll show you Stop and get Mexican. But anyway, we'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>